All of you reached victory on my back and my back alone. <laughs> uh. Again, I'll agree on that right up until the fucking evil Archmage fight. That was that was the one where you got to shine. Everybody <laughs> gets one. Yours was oh, I can jump higher than average. <laughs> oh, you can't. <laughs> uh. Fucking, my favorite parts had to be that and during the final Colosseum fight when I leapt into the air and freaking did a down strike on Golden. <laughs> I can't feel my face. <laughs> I can't feel my face when I'm with you, but I love it. Oh, but I love it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know any more. I think parts. that's also the first time I've done Castle Crashers fully legit without things like Wii Mod to, you know, allow me to enjoy the game more without dying a hundred times. Yeah. All other players will love the game. All right, cool. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no! Well, now the level my fucking Red Knight all the way up to ninety nine again. Nice. <laughs> time to get all the stats. All. Of Yeah, from level 0 to level 26 is fucking pretty impressive, all things considered. Actually, yeah, fucking... <laughs> What's that? Star, star made the art of, like, our bodies in the background and my body, like, waving a white flag <laughs> while Solar is standing there holding, like, a katana. <laughs> I fucking love it. Thank you. I must see this. Okay, I'm gonna so react to that. The, the flaming fucking wolf meteor sword, whatever. Two strength, two magic, two agility. So it's pretty good all around end game weapon. <laughs> <sighs> Cannot escape the UFO, so look, it's oh, white. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. Alright, that's nothing. That's nothing. Oh yeah. That's nothing. Also, I wanna give a shout out to my to my friend uh Spiny for fucking sticking by me this whole time and making my defense <laughs> goddamn immaculate. Spiny okay. Snoot is my new best friend. <laughs> uh yeah, Spiny. He, he, he's he's the he's the horn toad. Also, <laughs> apparently, the, apparently the chicken increases your strength, defense, and agility. Don't ask me how, because I have no fucking clue, but it, it does. Oh, uh, Wolfhead should have had the chicken and then the chicken sword that he very literally ignored and made me watch as he watched it disappear. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at the chicken sword, and then the game was like, you know what, you don't want it? Fuck you, then. Snail Bert increases your defense, but decreases your agility. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, it's not like I was investing into agility, like, at all. Fun fact, I wasn't. I had not one point in agility. Solar is now Mr. Steal Your Girl? Uh, <laughs> I'm looking at... Okay, so what are the clips do we have? Congrats, Wolfhead. Hashtag keep the wood. I think because there's Wolfhead like two clips of one. me kissing the clown. Uh, <laughs> monkey face increases your luck finding items. Okay, cool. Also, Wolfhead, I'm only just sorry enough for it to be noticeable as like a trace amount or a fraction of a trace amount but I'm not sorry at all for the clown <laughs> there's one do... clown congrats wolfhead keep the wood and the final battle but was it worth it it was worth it I mean I gotta, I gotta <laughs> say out of deal, so I mean I'd say it's fucking worth it for, my, for me where's the one that I was complaining that I lost my wood <laughs> I like that one. I'm gonna find it. Wolf had lost his wood. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Oh, my wood. Fucking Wolf had the only knight known to have beaten a man to death with a plank. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't think I've ever played a game that made me feel like I was doing a Destiny raid all over again. <laughs> I 
Okay, that was funny. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> the, one, the one that always comes to me the most is when um, we were trying to run from the abduction uh, beam from the Mar um, the Martian ship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lust Solar's the last one. He's like, pussies! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Ah! <laughs> My hubris. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I said it was going to be the last one, and by God, I was. Mm. I'm just like, oh, Jesus. Oh, no! <laughs> Where is that one? I want to watch it. Um, There's a couple of them. It's... Good Lord, there's a lot to look through. There, were, I, had a, I had a pretty good amount of clips here. Um, How do you look at the clips? What the like people clip button. people clip them for me, dude. <clears throat> Why do I keep losing my wood, wolf head, bro? <laughs> 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 okay, come on. You see what the problem is. <laughs> Don't talk to me about my problems, all right? I'm well aware. All right, so how does it feel to be getting it on with a clown? <laughs> Solo died fighting for his. Oh yeah, there was that one. Cannot escape the UFO. <laughs> be at this for like one hour and gonna be like. We may never be able to escape UFOs, but it will never be for lack of trying. <laughs> By God, there was effort put into it. I'll say that much. This is the answer to the question the princesses must be asking. Oh, well, Jesus. Oh, no! Oh, oh, God damn it. Also, I got, I got to feel bad for the aliens just a little bit because it's like they're just going about their usual routine and abducting people and all of a sudden they abduct the four most dangerous people on the fucking planet. Apparently. <laughs> Wow, my volume was way off on that one. So, I mean, I still felt embarrassed. Embarrassed, Goldie. Are and you don't embarrassed worry about it. for your mistakes? We had fun. Yeah, we did. <laughs> and they'll definitely be able to tell from the stream that what we're having is indeed fun. Which is in no way dampened by whether or not we're loud enough. It's just a good time. Alright, well. It's just a good time. Yeah. Oh, it is in, good time. In the um, in the Hollow Knight server, there's this guy working on a mod to make Hollow Knight yeah to make Hollow Knight multiplayer. If that ever becomes a thing, and if they you know get and refine it to a point where people can just use it, we should do we should stream like multiplayer Hollow Knight. Logic, logic. Yeah, you have a problem. One. <laughs> One, yes, absolutely, but two, you are out of your mind if you think I am going to lose to you in Hollow Knight. <laughs> no, not fucking PvP Hollow Knight, just, you know. Alright, so I'm looking at a few others. Something that would have been cool to have been able to do a stream of, but unfortunately I had to get a better computer. Uh, stick fight the game. Stick fight. Yeah. Stick fight. Stick fight. It would be fun mm -hmm. as hell. Like, it would be a very short playthrough because there's like... It's nothing else other than just a bunch of stick figures fighting each other off. That's all it is. Yeah, I wish I wish we caught your first black hole launcher use on camera. Oh, God, because that shit that was funny shit as was hell. <laughs> like, oh, God, what the fuck? <laughs> He's like, hey, Golden, that gun right there is the strongest gun in the game. Just shoot it. Just shoot it and you'll win. Something that Shoots would be it, fun to go through. Fool. So uh, <laughs> another game that would be fun to go through at one point, I think it's like two player. It's called Death Road to Canada. Oh, I streamed that game. Oh, you Logic, did? remember when I streamed that game and I gave you a um, fucking chainsaw for an arm? Mm. Neat. Yeah. Do you want to know what else would be fun? Time. What? Is that? Crack on with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Am I wrong? Yeah, but Death Road to Canada is fun. I never beat it, though. I'm going to celebrate by eating shortbread because I can feel my stomach eating itself. You gotta have some snacks, man. You're a streamer for like six, seven hours. Yeah. 
Yeah, seven fucking... hours with nothing but a Pepsi. Go fucking stuff your face. For for sustenance. Aggressively tears apart chip bag of chips. <laughs> nah, it's just a packet inside a box, which is just confusing. A tray inside a packet inside a box, and the tray has shortbread. I love shortbread. It does put a smile on my face. You guys have had shortbread? Yes. What? Mm -hmm. yeah, I think so. I have a lot of channel plans. What can I do with these? Get started. <laughs> Come back, you swine. <laughs> also, despite all of the fun we've had, mm -hmm. one part that definitely wasn't fun. What? Was fighting the fucking Black Knights. Yeah. 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 That part, we, that we just felt stuck. Because one hit took down a third of our health, and if the big ones grabbed you, they fucking eat you. Yeah. <clears throat> what are the Steam games? Oh I wow! Have? You know what? I, I I was I just realized I was playing a lot better on the game, and I was wondering why the fuck I was doing that. Now that I wasn't on the stream, and I realized, oh wait, it's because I don't have a fucking input delay this time. <laughs> I can actually fucking input my combos when I want to input them. Uh, so the ones that I have, let's see. The Angry Video Game Nerd, Axiom Verge, Blazing Chrome, That's that can also be a two-player game, Brawlhalla, I think that's just a uh, like basic online game. Brawlhalla is just an arena that, 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 game. That's kind of just like a, a Smash clone. Type yeah, thing. it's a Smash clone, and there's like there's no like main campaign or anything. Death I think of what we just did in the Coliseum, but more. But more of that, yeah. Death Road to Canada, Dusk and Elysian Tale, I want to play more of that. The Escapist, and I have the sequel. Unfortunately, the sequel doesn't work too well on this computer. Mm. Like, I, I can play it, but I can't stream it. Uh, one shot, I have yet to finish the rest of fucking Plants vs. Zombies. By the way, I beat that game in one day, too, so... <laughs> <laughs> of course you fucking did. Uh, you want to know the, the fucking flaw that I saw in your gameplay? What? It, it's because you weren't putting down the sunflowers. I mean, you were, but you weren't f focusing on them in the beginning. But you absolutely should. You should absolutely just focus entirely on trying to get as much sunlight as possible. Or as many sources of that will provide sunlight as possible. Even at night? Even at... I mean, especially... Well, I mean, at night, not necessarily, because a lot of the fucking shrooms don't cost anything, so you can just fucking throw them down. Yeah. But insane mode. Oh. That's right. This has an insane mode. Yeah, completing the game, like, oh. unlocks a clone of the game, but on a fucking obscene difficulty. This thing has a... Okay, a uh, Pelter occasionally shoots ice. Dragonhead occasionally shoots. You know what? Fair enough. That fucking fair enough. That don't know what I was expecting. I wish I could move. Oh, okay. That's <clears throat> comforting. Let's see, River City Ransom Underground, a robot named Fight, Shovel Knight, Treasure Trove, Stardew Valley. Oh. Apparently, I was told that Stardew Valley has like no ending. It just continues. It's more or less. Oh, what about that game I recommended you the other day that was basically a Zelda clone? Uh, I probably may have forgotten about that. Oh, uh, um, let me find it. Let's see, uh, stick to fight the game, doesn't work. Like, well, I, I can't stream it. Uh, it's best that I don't stream uh, Sturdy Valley if it doesn't have an ending to it. Uh, Time Spinner. That's actually on my subscriber uh, list. That's going to be interesting. All right. Oh, gaming historian. That's where I found out. Let me take a look at what's in. No, 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 no. Um, now take me to the store. Crusader of Senti. That was the name of it. Okay. I also uh, got linked a game from um, Wolfhead. Hmm. It's supposed to be like a Genesis game that somebody made. Yeah. 
Well, this one's also for the Genesis. CB Games Library. Um, I'm trying to. I'm trying to access my um, my freaking. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here it is. So I have five games left on the wish list to bring forth. Universe Sandbox. That'd be fun to dick around. Freedom Planet Two is still in the works. The West of Loathing. Um, Temtem is definitely not going to be a streaming game, but I've heard a lot about it. It is. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Um, oh yeah, there's one other game that it's it's supposed to come out in the summer. Uh, Vlad recommended me this one. Kill it with fire. Wait mm. a second. Isn't Crusader of Sensi the game that Matt Pat and Steph made? Crusader of the one that Riley posted in the hmm? stream chat. What was Hang the on. question? Crusader of Sensi. I thought. I think I remember during a GT oh! live session that. Okay, Matt that's Steph okay. Made. I remember now. Um, the game historian talked about it, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I recognize the logo. Okay. Looks interesting. I definitely want to give it a try sometime. Yeah. I do Are hope... I, about games? I do hope that at the very least Universe Sandbox works. Like, I know it's all 3D and everything, uh, but it's an older, like, version. It would be fun to just, like, dick around with the many different planets. But it is what it is. Um, so yeah, that's all I have left. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, that's right. I've actually made a purchase of a few other games that I haven't tested yet. Uh, there's still Bejeweled. Like, I have a demo of that. I could just test that first, and if it works, I might consider getting a full version of it. Um, oh my god. God, do you want to know the, the lowest price I'm seeing on eBay for Crusader of, of Senti on Sega Genesis? What? What? 305 bucks. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. That's the low well, GameStop has it for like 159.99, but who knows what the quality of that is because you can't you can you can't look at the game before you buy it, so you don't know if it, the quality is shit or not. Okay, never mind, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Good God! Uh, it was made long before either of those two even existed. <laughs> I still have yet to test out Maui Mallard and Cold Shadow. Mister Hop's Playhouse. I was recommended that one. That one is a horror game, I believe. So yep, it's yeah. considered a horror game. Yeah, Are I'll definitely a... save that for Spoopy Month. Are you a pussy? <laughs> <laughs> Not in Spoopy Month, apparently. Oh, uh, that's right. I also I also have Uno, but unfortunately, I can't, like I can't even like play it smoothly because it lags out like crazy. They have way too much flashy material. Yeah, and the last time you played it, it fucked up Logic's mic. Yeah. Oh dear. Like you don't need to have all that. Just make it simple. Jesus. Like at one point, I do hope to get a good computer because at that point. It would be so much fun to do so many rounds of Uno. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Undertale, never gonna stream it. Them's you, fight you're better off playing that in your off time. Honestly, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. That's what I, I would say you should definitely play it because it is a, it is a very good game, but probably not stream it. That's one yeah. of those games yeah. I own, but I haven't gotten around to playing yet. You should because it's only like it's only like a ten hour game, but you through it multiple times and get different oh yeah it. i also got like, i know yeah, the whole genocide route and stuff depending on if you um if you kill any of the boss monsters in the game if you kill anyone in the game yeah it, it, pacifist anybody, run but yeah i think everybody just <laughs> likes the pacifist run because nobody liked being mean to the characters anyway dude oh. the genocide run creeps me the fuck out anyway dude. indeed yeah. it does so i also have super meat boy that is hard. Yeah, that's okay. So that is definitely. You keep cutting out. I mean, it it is a lot of fun, but it's difficult. Oh, I'll yeah. bet. I heard a lot about that. I'll have to. I, I'll have to do a I test run of that one at some have point. Not beat that game myself. I still so, have. I still have freaking them's fighting herds like sitting there collecting dust in the library. Or actually, I, I think I have beaten it, but I didn't get like the true ending thing. So. Them's fighting like, herds. No, no, uh, Super Meat Boy. Oh. I'm pretty sure I beat the game, and I think I got the ending, because there's, like, a bunch of different bonus worlds and 
I, I don't remember very well. Riley, what the fuck did you put in the stream, ch uh, the, the call chat? I was chat. showing him the price on eBay for Crusader of Sentinel. Oh. Uh, I would, oh, I would like to... Holy I would, Christ! Super Meat Boy, you will get frustrated. I, I will put that. Yeah, up. that game is meant to be a ragey game. It it is meant to be yeah, like the flash rage style of game. It's it embraces that fully. It it is a lot of it's to fucking get the technique down, but by God, can it be infuriating? <laughs> yeah. All right. So the other one that is sitting around is uh, them's fighting herds. That that has been getting a lot more attention lately. But I'm, yeah, I, it got updated. Part one came out. I the tried, game finally I played that since the first release. I, if, if I may finish, I did finally give the game another chance, and I didn't have nearly as big of a problem because mm. it's. Uh, did they finally dial back some of the fucking characters? I think so. Like I don't know exactly. Like when I first played it, I got my ass kicked multiple times. Like this is ridiculously hard. And of course, oh, no. when I tweeted about it, people are saying, "We'll get good at it, scrubs." Like, <laughs> no, there's a fucking difficulty <laughs> spike there. Also, there, okay, I'm still I will say, like the get good argument did not work in the current in because you could like some characters could literally just fucking infinite you if you made a single mistake. There was like no getting out of it, especially if you were if especially if you were going up against a fucking paprika because paprika has a oh god. god. I've heard so. I did hear an up. I did hear an update from Paprika that there's like a special meter that if it's all used up, it cannot recharge. Hmm. So I think that might help nerf the character down. I don't know. Because like I, I remember fighting a Paprika a whole bunch and there was basically nothing you could do because she had such wide covering AoEs that she could just fucking string together one after another. There was no getting out of it. Hmm. Like everybody <laughs> used her, and I always everybody got decimated. She was a brainless character, and that's why I refused to play her out of principle. Just like I'm not gonna play this. Fucking you know game. a character I refuse to play out of principle because I think they're cheap. Huh. Palm. Palm. That's what? the that's that skinny sheep who lets the dogs do all the work for her. It's it's the Fluttershy clone. Yeah, and the uh, thing like uh, even uh, even just clone. even just as the no, no, hold on hold on hold up hold up even just as the Fluttershy clone having Angel Bunny included was already a dumb idea. If you're gonna make a fighting character, make a fighting character. Don't have some character that has a bunch of other characters come and do the work for you because you feel cheated and teamed out. Mm, okay. It's just that's that's not a good character design. Yeah. Not to mention a lot of her fucking, like, characters, or a lot of her, like, I guess, summons, technically. They had a really fucking wide reach, and they could come from damn near anywhere. Like, I played fucking, what is it, fucking Tiano, because she was the, uh... To me, she seemed like the one that kind of had the highest skill ceiling, and she was a lot of fun to play. But also, she suffers from the uh, being very fucking weak um, disability, in which you are very fucking weak. Because I would sit there and I'd go against or something like that. I'd string like a good 10 to 15 hits together and they would take like a fourth of their bar. Meanwhile, Arizona would hit me about four times and half my life was gone. I'm like, all right, really? <laughs> like, I get that fucking Arizona's supposed to be, like, more of a brawler-type character, and Tiano's supposed to be a fucking, like, combo-oriented character, but for fuck's sake, I hit him 15 fucking times. He shouldn't be able to m make that same difference back up with four. <laughs> Did anyone play the story to them's fighting herds yet? I haven't. I haven't heard. yet. Like, I'm, try I'm, tr I I'm trying to be a little more patient now. Like, something stupid, like, I did something really stupid once, um... Bronny Buck was hosting a uh, stream, and he was actually talking to a few other people that I didn't know at first until afterwards. Apparently, some of them were uh, were involved in creating Them's Fighting Herds, mm -hmm. and they're going over why Them's Fighting Herds was quote unquote a failure. And I said because the game was not that good. That's what you said to them. I didn't say that to them directly. I just said that in, like in the chat box. And then oh. I don't I don't know if they read it or not, but Bronny kind of read it and he came to me like, "Wow, right, you got completely singled out by everybody else." Okay, mm. I have problems with the game. And what's more hilarious is that he asked me, "What fighting games are you used to playing?" Smash Brothers, dude. That's the game that everybody has problems with. It's like what? And he always prefers playing oh. Meta Knight. I'm like, oh, hmm. 
I can't. Fucking, no, you know fucking what the them's is? fighting like... herd. Them's fighting herds actually got added to Evo this year, and Smash got taken out. So, Dude, yeah, I feel like Smash Brothers yeah. is a lot in every Evo. So. Well, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. Uh, continue, Riley. Uh, so I think the problem with uh, them's fighting herds for me is I feel like it's one of those games that I need to have a regular fighting stick to use with it because yeah. like any kind of like keyboard or even like a regular controller just doesn't feel right playing the game i need like a regular arcade stick type of setup yeah that's I the that's what, I was, oh, okay. that's what i was gonna say is that um the difference between smash brothers and them's fighting herds is that when i fa when i play them's fighting herds it feels like i'm playing like a fucking uh what, what do you call it like, like an arcade style Street Fighter. Like, remember the old Street Fighters? Yeah. Uh, there was like yeah. different combos for every character and so on and so forth. They were going. Yeah, and different strategies for every character. That's how it feels when I'm playing them's fighting herds. When I'm playing Smash Brothers, though, Smash Brothers is super easy to learn. Yeah, I feel like anybody can play Smash Brothers. That's because yeah, they have like hard. a. Oh. It's it's really because they have a set of rules. Or not a set of rules, a set of moves that everybody has that are just easy to master. When it comes, like for instance, I was playing uh, Arizona. I was trying to master some of the moves, and I'm getting frustrated with some of them. And some of the um, some of the text are a little h hard to read. Like I shrink down the text because I don't like it when it's filling up the screen too much. Mm -hmm. And like I just have too much trouble doing it. And some people say it's supposed to be rhythmatic. It's like okay, even if it was rhythmatic, how am I supposed to know how rhythmatic it is? It's it's a little cryptic in that regard. There, there is a rhythm to it. It, it is very difficult to figure out what that rhythm is sometimes. Because when I figured it out with fucking, uh, what's her fucking name, Tiano? Um, is that the I, dragon I, one? Yeah, she's the dragon one, base dragon. Anyway, but uh, yeah, when I uh, when I figured it out with her, I noticed like, oh, like my fucking skill gap got noticeably smaller. I was like, huh, I'm actually able to fucking fight these people without getting fucking infinited. Granted that they weren't playing Paprika, but still. <laughs> I, I think it became like a community unspoken rule that if you played Paprika, you're a little bitch. <laughs> so Paprika I mean, is pretty much the Meta Knight of them's fighting her. So kind of like noob to being Call of Duty. I, I, do not, I, I do not fucking care about anybody that whined and cried when the, the inevitable nerf came i did not i do not care she was fucking busted so yeah. like, oh, yeah, i can fill up half the screen with combos that i can just fucking screen, string together one after the other and just infinite people that fucking make a single mistake oh yeah this is a fucking character with a high skill ceiling like literally jay fucking played th played that character just on a whim never picked the character up and he's like wow this character is obscene <laughs> Like, he almost won against my Tiano, and that's him barely picking up this character, having no idea how the fuck she works. Yeah. yeah. He, he was just sitting there like, wow, this character is actually busted. Anyways. Yeah. But yeah, I, I mean, I'd be willing it to give it another shot because I did have fun with it. I was down for something that started off as a fucking... I'm, I might give the story a try at one point if it if it all comes to um if it all like works out better because like I did a little like one of those freaking arcade modes where it's just a series of like characters because I all like after taking on a lot of the characters I also took on like a couple of um like a bunch of black carnivore like creatures like there's a black bear a black saber tooth or something which is weird oh yeah and there's also a snake which, there is. yeah, so I took on all that, and I was able to get through it in, like, a bigger breeze, and I'm like, it, does, it, does this feel too easy? Because I just did it with just the regular settings. I didn't even go to the options menu. I I will say I did not like the fucking cobra. The cobra is probably the most egregious out of all the fucking animals. Just because the cobra, literally all it does is back up and fucking shotgun poison out at you. Well, the other thing that I sometimes do is that being Arizona, I use the, uh, the frickin' rope. And go, whoosh, get the fuck over here. Yeah, no, like, I, <laughs> it's the get over here move. 
It's like the problem for me is just whenever you back up, it just automatically blocks anything, and the snake does nothing but fucking back up. So whenever I try to approach it, it just fucking it blocks, and then it just spams poison at me to fucking knock me back. I'm like, fuck off. Like I have to do some like fucking Jackie Chan, fucking sneak around the ceiling, drop in behind him to fucking assassinate him type shit. Oh, so that's the best way to tell if a game is like multiplayer or whatnot. Okay, uh, I'm looking back at a few others. Let's see, Death Road to Canada. Yeah, it's multiplayer and cooperative. All right, awesome. How do you play that game? Oh, wait a minute. Carefully. <laughs> Serious question. How do you wait? There has to be somebody in charge of the decision. Wait, wait. <laughs> River City Ransom Underground is also cooperative? Huh. Cool. Dude, Streets of Rage 4. Play I that. don't have that yet. Um, I'll have to search that up. That game is fun. Lot, yeah, I've heard a lot of people raving about that game. Um, Dude, I played like, up until the very last mission. It's fun. I like it. It's a beat 'em up, just like Castle Crashers. Oh yeah, no, like um, Streets of Rage was. I think it was the first beat 'em up that Sega made for the Genesis, uh -huh. and it was supposed to compete against like Double Dragon on the NES. Uh -huh. All right, let's take a look at this. Whenever the page loads, it was crazy with Streets of Rage Four because it got released on the same day that I found out that they made. A Streets of Rage 4, and I was like, I thought they were done with Streets of Rage. I think this is more like a long time comeback. You know, it's one of those. It's it, it's it feels like it's one of those occasions where uh, something like a franchise you remember, and then it comes back after a long time. Like I think Battletoads had something like that, um, or even stepping outside of gaming. Like there was there was the event with Invader Zim and Rocco's Modern Life. They, like it's one of those kind of occasions where after a long period of time. They just go back at it for like nostalgia's sake and bring it like to the modern public. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, it's it's one of those type of things. Okay, what the hell Where? is going on with my Steam? There we go. Okay, Streets of Rage Four. I think this is a three D game, isn't it? No, it's two D side scroller. Oh, okay. Yeah, like you said, it's like an old beat 'em up game. Like the old uh, Simpsons arcade game. I Dude, I've never that. played that, but I always wanted to. The Simpsons arcade game is it's it's an experience. Is there any way I can play Simpsons Hit and Run again? Probably. Any way Run was a good game. It, it was, was a good game. game. For like, there's a lot of Grand Theft Auto clones out there. The Simpsons Hit and Run is one of the better ones. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It was a lot of fun. Cherry Hunter, okay. All right, um, I'll consider add it to my wish list and I'll check it out at some point. Yee. Why are arcade sticks so fucking expensive? Because they're used by professionals. Because Professional. they are, because they are antiques or some shit. Yeah. <clears throat> I do hope that it plays well. Like, there have been some other weird occasions. Like, I tried to, um, like, I tried to, I got this uh, bundle pack of Capcom, and they have, like, their own beat-em-up games. And I have access to, like, the first um, Final Fight arcade game. Um, unfortunately, when I tried to uh, play the game, just testing on OBS itself, not even streaming, it was a little bit laggy. And I can only imagine how horrible it would have been if I had, um like actually streamed it oh so key has also played the game i see no wait i had simpsons hit and run oh that one okay that's that's different yep but no uh simpsons hit and run is fucking fun. yeah oh yeah uh but out of the streets of rage games i've always looked to the second one the most and it's especially because i love the soundtrack mm, mm. yeah not to mention like the graphics on that one like the artwork is like it's got a nice set of colors that have, like, that that sense of edge to it. Bruh, is there any game that you remember just for the soundtrack alone? Mega Man like X. Uh, a lot of them. Dude, Mega Man has always had some good music. Yeah, oh, Mega yeah. Man 
Force had the fucking good soundtrack. Oh. I love the shit out of that one. Mega Man what? Star Force. Star Force. Okay, I'll have to look that one up. No, Star um, Force was it's the one that's after Battle Network. Okay. I was so sad when they didn't make a fourth game. I mean, to be fair, the third game was the right note to end it on. It's like, okay, yeah, fucking Geo found his and dad. Hey, and hey, all happy it, together. At least, his buddy, like, at everything's le- Yeah, at least they didn't give, um, they didn't give it the Mega Man X treatment where they kind of went a little overboard after X5 because X5 was supposed to be the conclusion. And then they stretched out with X6 and they had, like, ridiculous, like, plot conveniences and just, like, the game was nearly unplayable. You remember the voice acting in those games? I remember the voice acting from the anime cutscenes. Yeah. What am I fighting for? The Huawei. <laughs> apparently, when it came to the voice acting in those games, they apparently just grabbed anybody in Japan that was, like, who could speak English to play the roles of the characters. Uh, I'm not surprised, but also why? Because, <laughs> like, I'm not surprised because that's what it sounded like, but also why? why? I mean, Mega Man X made a whole lot of money. Why not chill out for, like, some higher quality? I mean, voice keep in mind this was, like, the early 90s and shit, and, like, anime voice acting wasn't really as big a prominent thing as it is today, so I can somewhat understand, but still... It's, I mean, yeah, but that's still some pretty poor quality. Yeah, yeah. Dude, talking about game soundtracks and beat 'em ups, there was one soundtrack that I fucking loved from a game that was uh, made after a movie, a popular movie that was made after a comic book series. Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, fucking Riley got it. God damn it. Yep, it was Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> Did you see the yeah, Okay, so the they made a movie about Scott truck. Pilgrim, which in the movie, the, the music was pretty okay. But then they released the side-scroller beat-em-up game, and all the music is done by a band called Anamanaguchi. All the soundtracks are fucking baller. All of them. Like, every level is a fucking bop. You know, Did I you see it. the other last week how Ubisoft actually like responded to the creator of Scott Pilgrim when he said to Dude, Rick I retweeted in. that tweet and I was like, do not mess with our emotions like this, Ubisoft. If don't, you're gonna re release it, re release it already. <laughs> you do know, not like, play with my emotions when it comes to Scott Pilgrim. You know it's a good fucking series. You know it's a game that I think is so under like overshadowed and would have been nice to see like as a re release, but I know will never happen. What? Demon's Crest. Uh, I do not remember Demon's Crest. You might have to refresh my Okay. I know of it. Not many of you know what it is, because it was a game from Capcom that, uh, unfortunately, the game kind of tanked when it came out, but there were a lot more re-returns, and it's because they had some unintended, like, satanic imagery and such, but it's really not about that. What Demon's Crest is, is that it's a spin-off game based off of Gargoyle's Quest, which was based off of playing as the um, those uh, those demon-like characters from Ghosts and Goblins. And they're kind of like like side-scrolling RPGs. And Demon's That's Crest... Cool. Yeah, Demon's Crest had a lot of cool functions. Unfortunately, it's a fairly short game, but it's such a good run. Um, and the most unfortunate part is... Because of the supposed like un- like gothic tone it had, it made a lot of audiences uh, uncomfortable. Especially when you consider that the Super NES was originally marketed for a supposed younger audience. Mm. There were a lot yeah. more returns, and as a result, the game tanked. But it gained a following, and people actually loved it. Um, and it's it's just one of those games that if you were to try to find a physical copy online, it they sell it for like hundred twenty bucks. But the soundtrack itself, it's just pure organs. And the way they work with the organs... Like, you would have to listen to it. It's it's absolutely epic. Oh, with hmm. a name like Demon's Crest, I, I can imagine. Yeah. So yeah, it has a bit of a gothic, hellish-like tone, but it's a really good fucking game. It's frustrating at times. Like, you can get your ass kicked a lot with a lot of bosses, but... Um, if you're patient enough, you get through it, it's, it's worth the journey. So, 
Unfortunately, yeah, and because the game was a flop, Capcom would never do, like, a remake of that. Like, they'll do a remake of DuckTales because that game was a huge success, like, back in the 90s. Um, but to the, be fair, it's still a huge success now. It is, yeah. more than ever. Yeah. God, I love watching DuckTales, dude. I fucking love it. The Woo-hoo. new show is so good. The new show it's really fun. is fucking good. Like, holy yeah. shit. I, I, honestly, I, I had very low expectations for this reboot, but, oh, they, they proved me wrong in the best way. <laughs> yeah, because of a, lo- a lot of reboots are shitty. A lot of reboots are fucking garbage. Yeah, no, no, fucking just straight up. That's how it is. That's how it yeah. be. They love all the out of the park, so I'm really happy with the new DuckTales. I love all the references to the old, like, Disney afternoon cartoons, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like fucking Darkwing Duck. I was gonna say. That episode was amazing. I heard... That episode was fucking fantastic. I heard that they were... spoil it for me, I didn't get there Well, hold on, hold on. I I heard that, like, Disney was gonna do, like, a redoing of the most of the, um... The uh, Disney afternoon shows. I heard something about that. Oh, if we get another, if we get a Darkwing Duck reboot that's in this this same fucking quality, oh, oh, baby. <laughs> oh. Blaster Master yeah. Zero? What the hell is Blaster Master Zero? I've heard of Blaster Master. Well, what about the, uh, what, what fucking was it? Oh, no, never mind. I, I was thinking of something different. Blaster Master Zero. Here we go to Google, boys. Yeah, when in doubt, searching Google. Blaster Master I've Zero. I've never heard of that one. Blaster Master Zero is a platform video game developed and published by Indie Creates for the Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo Switch. Ah, okay then. All right. I don't think I've had. A, I don't think I have that one. So I have no idea. It's a lot of Blaster Master Zero games. Okay then. Um, wow, I really should <laughs> wrap up the uh, stream. It's already been over seven hours. So. Yeah, seven I can't hours. Hours. A good idea. But by God, we fucking. By God. But hey, that playthrough of Castle Crashers was worth it. It honestly. Indeed it was. Hundred percent worth it. Yeah. Hell no. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know that Solar here was, like, keeping us alive all the time, but we fucking tried. There was... <laughs> there was a lot of blood like, being spilt. It was like Golden's last hurrah to try to matter. He's just like, listen, I know Solar saved our ass a lot. We fucking tried, all right? We, we ran in there with Solar. We I, might I have gotten, it, gotten our ass kicked and Solar didn't, but we fucking tried, all right? I know that he single-handedly carried this team to victory, but by God. He's like, where is my participation trophy? I, hey, I need it. Hey, I beat him once in one of those battles to fight for chick for a chick. That's true. That is true. <laughs> I was there. Anyways, um, thank you for anybody who stuck around. Um, it'll be fun having these up on YouTube at the time of you know, the release of this on YouTube as is. People will have already seen it, but... Anybody who's live, thank you for sticking around, and um, I hope you guys in you know stay safe and uh, watch your yeah, wash your <laughs> wash your fucking hands. You he cut out there, but yeah, yeah. wash your hands, you nasties. Anyways, hope you all have a good one. <laughs>